Cheers, Matt. Um, <laughs> most sensible thing I've said in this podcast so far, apparently. That's maybe some of the, the Levy defenders out there are saying that's the reason that maybe Antonio Conte is not being backed. Um, but that's the problem with any club, um, you know. And you see at Chelsea, I believe that the signings coming in at Chelsea are nothing to do with Graham Potter. And Graham Potter is having massive problems at Chelsea. So you go to so you go the route down you go down the route where you don't sign players for your manager and that goes wrong. Or you go down the route where you sign managers you sign players for your manager that he wants and you know, you'd imagine on paper that goes much better. But, you know, Antonio Conte is causing a problem for him for himself. You know, he's not signing the contract. Every few weeks he comes out with a bit of a risky um, or an edge interview and people think, oh, well, he's off. He's not helping him scout, of course, but like a lot of people have said, and I believe this myself, you back him or sack him. If you're not going to back him, then it's, it's not going to work at Tottenham for, for Antonio Conte. Um, Tottenham need to decide what what they want to do, what their vision is, because you know you can't go with, our vision is to bring in youngsters who are built for the future, but we're going to bring in a win-now manager in Antonio Conte, a win-now manager in Jose Mourinho. They don't work together. You bring in win-now players with win-now managers, or you bring in a long-term manager for long-term players, is, is my opinion. Um, I don't know what you think about it, Matthew.